Number 30. What is the approximate value of the equilibrium constant Kp for the change? And then we have this balanced equation, right, at 25 degrees Celsius. And they did say that the equilibrium vapor pressure for this substance is 570 torr at 25 degrees Celsius. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this equation a little bit bigger. So it looks like I have diethyl ether. Uh, that's, that's my orgo coming in, my organic chemistry. Uh, you don't have to worry about that, but this is very, very, very toxic. Um, and it quickly vaporizes. So C2H5O, C2H5. Let me know if you guys are taking Orgo. I'm curious. Because hopefully if you guys get there, I hope I can help you out there as well. But I digress. Let's keep going here. So we want to find out the Kp value, right? And the Kp formula is this right here, right? Maybe I'll just make it a little bit bigger. But remember, the Kp is just the pressure of the products raised to the coefficients divided by the pressure of the reactants, and only aqueous and gases are allowed. So look at those states first. Uh-oh, I have a liquid. That's not allowed. Only aqueous and gases are allowed. So since I don't care about this, this goes... Bye-bye. Can't use it. But here I have a gas value, so I can use this in my Kp formula. So let's write out that formula. So I got Kp equal the pressure of the products. In this case, it's the C2H5O, C2H5, yeah, just C2H5O, C2H5, and that's going to be in parentheses, right? And since there was no number here, that means that there was one of them. So I can raise it to the first, but I don't have to. Now, divided by the reactants, but since I can't use this, I just have to have a placeholder. Remember, the placeholder number is 1. So I could just say this is divided by 1. Let's simplify this. I can just say that the Kp is equal to just the, and actually let me just make this a little bit better. This is equal to the pressure, I can get rid of these parentheses, it's just equal to the pressure of the C2H5OCH2H5. And they did tell me that the equilibrium vapor pressure was 570 torr. But here's the thing, if you're using Kp, if you have, if you have values that you're going to plug in here, only ATM units are allowed. You cannot use TOR values. So the thing is, is that I have to convert 570 TOR into ATM because the KP only allows ATM units. So I wrote down the conversion over here. One ATM equals 760 TOR. So let's just convert this out. 570 TOR times by a ratio. We've done tons, tons of these, right? Tor goes on the bottom, ATM goes up on the top. 1 ATM equals 760 Tor. Let's cancel out that Tor, and now we get the number in ATM, 570 divided by 760. So I get 0 0.75 ATM. So this equals 0 0.75 ATM. And this is the number that I'm going to use. The Kp is just equal to that pressure. So the Kp would equal 0 0.75, approximate, because we're just taking this number. And just know that your K value, your equilibrium constant values, they do not have any units. So even though this was the pressure of the uh, diethyl ether, I don't use ATM when I'm giving a number for Kp. And that's it. So there is the answer for this one, guys. Woohoo! What'd you think? Hope for this help. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously. Thank you so much, and let's keep rocking and rolling. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you all later. Bye!